This is my full review of the M1 MacBook Air, my daily driver since the start of the school year, and by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not to pick it up for the upcoming holidays. Timestamps right below that like button, and let's get started. So starting with the body, it has that classic, slim design that makes it ideal to travel with between classes. It has that iconic design which looks amazing and is extremely strong, yet also being lightweight. As for the screen, it looks completely solid, as watching YouTube or Netflix in 4K looks great. Entertainment with this laptop is not going to be an issue. It definitely gets bright enough for everyday use, but a brighter screen would have been nice. The bezels are there and quite apparent when compared to the new pros that came out this year, but honestly, they disappear after a while, so don't even worry about it. As for the keyboard, this thing feels great to type on. After having typed entire essays and papers, I can say with confidence that this keyboard is better than Chiclet and is now my new favorite. The spacing is perfect as it takes up majority of the space. You got Touch ID and a trackpad that is extremely big, yet also doesn't get in your way. It's the perfect combination. Overall, the keyboard is one of my favorite parts of this computer and is a million times better than that butterfly trash. As for the speakers, they've always been a strong point on Apple's laptops, and that's prevalent here too. It's loud, crisp, and clear, and has that high quality sound that you would expect. You should be able to hear your professors just fine. Now, annoyingly enough, even though you do still have that 720p FaceTime camera, M1 kind of enhances the video and makes it look better than what it actually looks like. You can see the difference immediately when you use an M1 laptop compared to an older MacBook that still had that same webcam. Now I know, it doesn't change the fact that it's 720p, but for Zoom classes or meetings, this works perfectly fine. Also, this is a test of how the microphone sounds. Pretty good, right? But finally comes the main attraction of this computer, and that's the M1 chip. Now, I talked about M1 before when I reviewed the iMac, and you guys already know how powerful it is. But what makes M1 special isn't even necessarily the, the power aspect, but everything else that this chip affects. See, because with this computer, there are zero fans. And there isn't even a need for one, to be honest. See, because even though there are zero fans, I've never felt this computer get hot. No matter what task I'm doing, if I'm in a complex Final Cut edit with a ton of layers and I'm exporting a large file, I've felt this computer get slightly warm at best. The power management is just crazy. But that's not all that M1 affects, because M1 also gives this computer amazing battery life. I have gone complete days without charging, and trust me, when I was traveling, this was a lifesaver. Like, I'll probably never have to carry around a laptop charger ever again, and for school, that is amazing. M1 impacts the rest of the laptop in a bunch of different little ways, and those all add up to create a great overall experience. And and if for whatever reason you are still worried about the performance, trust me, as a computer science student, this laptop is literally perfect. And as somebody that edits videos on a pretty frequent basis, this computer definitely holds its weight. It's that strong. In fact, when I manage to push this computer to the limit, I'll definitely let you guys know. As for the price, this laptop comes in at $1,300 Canadian or $999 US dollars, which for the power that you're getting in this computer, it's actually quite a steal. If you wanna see some of the apps that I use on this computer as a student, click here. Subscribe and like if you've enjoyed this video as it helps me out. And thanks for watching.